France has begun the process of returning a set of Maori heads removed from New Zealand by early European traders. The first, the mummified tattooed head of a warrior, has been handed over to a Kiwi delegation for the long trip home. After more than 135 years in French hands, this toy moko is being returned to his people. Under this black cloth, a mummified, tattooed head of a Māori warrior, the first in France to end its time as a museum exhibit. I visited him when he was sitting on the shelf in Rouen and thought, well, from this point on, we'll be treating him with dignity. This 3D animation shows what the Rouen toy moko looks like. A French citizen gave it to the local museum in 1875. Toy moko were hotly sought after by early European traders to New Zealand, becoming prized pieces in museums around the world. But cultural sensitivities have changed. Māori want their ancestors returned, and the French agree. It is not uh, an object, it's uh, a person. That is something... Uh, very important. The French tried to return the Māori head five years ago, but it took a law change in France led by this woman to finally allow it to be repatriated. Now this toy moko is coming home. The next job for Te Papa is to find out just where in New Zealand is home. What is his iwi? It's estimated 500 more await a homecoming.